Randy Gregory, that is Randy Goofery, just did it again. Mike Fisher reporting on the Dallas Cowboys and the NFL. Uh, happy New Year's weekend. We've got a special uh, Saturday, New Year's Eve version of Fish at Six at Seven, hosted by Marsha Fisher. That's coming up momentarily. Randy Gregory got in a ridiculous fight uh, at the end of the Christmas weekend Broncos-Rams game. The Broncos lost 51 million to nothing or something like that. Randy Gregory, not a factor in the game, not a factor in the season, decided to be a factor um, by starting to punch people at the end of games, trying to punch people at the end of games. Uh, lunacy, idiocy, goofy. I take you back to the Randy Gregory contract situation when he left the Cowboys under a cloud of controversy that really was a tempest in a teapot. There was no controversy. The contract terms that the Cowboys handed Randy Gregory uh, and his $70 million offer that he all but signed had the same language in it that virtually every other Cowboy contract has had for years and years and years. Uh, it is a language that the Cowboys think protects them against off the field idiocy, if you will. And yet the Cowboys have never exercised uh, their right to take away a guy's money because he acted like an idiot off the field. Got a uh, long-term suspension, that sort of thing. Of course, Randy Gregory, with his half a decade history in Dallas, um, the Cowboys could have argued and did privately, quietly, gently that he is vulnerable in that area. But this was standard language. No different than any other defensive lineman or offensive lineman or linebacker or defensive back or wide receiver. Uh, it, virtually every single cowboy has this language. In fact, um, I can tell you, Zach Martin has this language in his contract. So the insulting language that Randy Gregory and his agent decided to pinpoint to cause them to turn tail on the cowboys, it's the same contract that Zach Martin has. Somehow Zach Martin doesn't feel insulted. He just takes his money and plays. Uh, same thing with, with uh, the bulk of everybody else in this roster. Our understanding, by the way, is it so happens that it's Dak Prescott is the one guy that doesn't have this language in his contract. Um, and as we pointed out at the time, that's a mistake on the Cowboys' part. It really should be all 53. It shouldn't be 52 of the 53. There should not be an exception. If it's an innocuous uh, paragraph, then it should be innocuous for everybody. And, and I make that case in defense of Randy Gregory. But he and his representative panicking because they read this line in the contract, which was in Randy Gregory's previous long-term contracts. Same language. And this time they decided to freak out about it. My theory, by the way, is that Randy Gregory never read his contract before and found this line this time and said to his agent, what in the world is this? Why is this in there? And his agent, instead of saying, Randy, it's always in there, his agent decided to freak out with him. And of course, they had a Broncos offer, same exact money in their pocket, and away they went. So Randy's in Denver now and good for him. Uh, except for the fact that he called you a toxic fan, no ill will held in this space towards Randy Gregory. He gets in his fight. He says he's sorry. He gets suspended for a game. Now, we've got to make sure we walk through this carefully. Starts a fight for no reason. Says he's sorry. Appeals the one-game suspension. Instead of the appeal, accepts a $50,000 fine in, uh, instead of the suspension for a game. So initially, suspended one game. Let's erase that. Let's fine you $50,000. Yay! I can play. Today, the Denver Broncos put Randy Gregory on IR with a bothersome knee that was bothering him last week. And the league find him again, $13,000. So you get your weekend fines for your activity, just like the Cowboys jumping into the Salvation Army kettle. That's eh, a $3,000 fine. Those things come out every weekend. In addition to the 50, in addition to the suspension that was erased 
But Randy's knee and the Broncos' choice basically suspends him anyway. Randy Gregory, in his brilliance, and I'll never forget Jerry shoving it down our throat, that this is the highest IQ, the highest... The Cowboys don't have guys IQ tests. It's all malarkey. Randy Gregory's a perfectly sharp guy, but not sharp enough to work his way around the Cowboy contract and not sharp enough this time to avoid having the NFL punish him three times for one punch. <laughs> Goofy. Randy Goofery in Denver, who, by the way, and again, injuries, poor play, bad team. He played six games this year, was not a full-time starter, and recorded two sacks. He got punished more today than he has sacks. Randy Goofery, fish out.